Hello from Bitcoin Mining World. This is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. So today is a great day, guys. Bitcoin is up. Look at it go. Woo, look at it go, guys. 11,403 per coin. That's what I'm talking about. We're over here mining away on my six card rig. But guess what, guys? That is a package. That is a 1070 Ti from EVGA. Just got it. This uh, came in today. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see how much more hash rates I get. How many souls a second I get. So right now we're at. Let's see. 1,947 uh, 1, souls a second on my seven card rig. We're gonna go ahead and update that. Let's go ahead and see how that looks, guys. Okay guys, so this is a t the EVGA 1070 Ti. Um, I actually, I'm not too sure what edition it is because, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I buy them from EVGA. I don't get them second hand or third hand or anything like that. I make sure to get them from the source. Um, just because, you know, there's a lot of mining going out, going on out there and you can't be too, for sh too sure how good the quality of the card's in. Um, so I don't even know how much I paid for it. <laughs> Tell you the truth. So this card, this card was five hundred and eighty-eight dollars. It's not too bad compared to what they sell for on the second-hand market, on a uh, Craigslist, and what they sell for on an uh, OfferUp and on Facebook. Normally, I see these for about eight hundred dollars to like a thousand dollars. So look at that beautiful card, guys. Oh my! Oh my! My my! So it looks like uh, this the regular. EVGA uh, GTX 1070 Ti uh, gaming edition. So that's kind of cool. Eight gigabytes of memory on there. Um, not bad. So we're gonna go open it up. Check out what comes with this little package right here. Let me zoom in on that. Give y'all a taste. But uh, like I was saying, what I like to do, guys, is um, I put notifications on EVGA until they get into stock. Because I'm not gonna pay outrageous costs. Oof. You know, I kind of, kind of wanna. You know, it's just with this wrapper on, it's worth $800 on the second-hand market. But oh well, there it goes. Because this is for mining. That's what I got it for. Opening it up. Let's see this. Oh my, brand new seals and everything, guys. This is nice. Is gonna make me. I turned my other mining rig off right now because it's super loud. Okay, so there's a box. And it comes, I think this one comes with a three year warranty. So that's why I got it too from EVGA because it's brand new. Not mined with, not gamed with. You know, brand new, guys. So let's check this out. What type of poster this is. I might start hanging these up. Oh wow, I'm not even gonna open up all the way. That's all y'all get. Okay, let's check this out. So, um, drivers, I already have the drivers installed, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, just uh, kind of a little manual right there. More manuals, more stickers. Oh, this is cool. Let's, this is a sleep cable. That's actually very cool. I've never seen a sleeve one. And here is the bad boy himself. The 1070 TI edition right there. Oof. Oh man, the best part about this is actually taking off the little wrappers. Man, I waited a while for this car. If I can get it out of here, that's the first thing. There we go. So no back plate, that's fine. Don't need any of the aesthetics. Um, wow, I have it in my hands, guys. Look at that beauty, wow. All blacked out. Again, I just got the base model. Um, and that's, I, you know, I think it was like 560 because they charge you for shipping, so it wasn't like 580 for the car, it was like 560. Make sure to take this off because you don't want this to burn up. Oh my, not bad. I keep all these little plastic 
things on there because you know you're not gonna be using these anyways I keep all these on of course I take this one off oh yeah look at that Wow brand new guys straight from EVGA Let's go ahead and put it on and see how it works. Okay guys, so I just installed the brand new EVGA 1070 Ti. Market still looks pretty good. So I haven't even turned it on just yet. I'm kind of waiting to do it with y'all. And yes guys, I have been using my box fan. It's just off right now. So let me go ahead and hit the power button right here. Okay, let's see what happens. Screen's on. Have a little button right here I like to hit. So everything powered on, even the new one. Nice. So again, normally what happens is when you power on a, a mining rig with a new graphics card, it takes a while for it to start. So everything's running pretty good. All the risers have power. Um, I got this new riser but it's kind of I don't know it said it was a, a version 9 but it's actually version 6 so I don't know if it has any LED indicators on there because I don't see any on so everything's off so far I'm getting some lights over here motherboards of course on got the internet plugged into it so let's see all the lights are on on the GPUs there we go, moment of truth, please wait. Um, this is kind of the portion that kind of takes a little bit of time. Oh, that actually went pretty fast. So, let me get my $2 keyboard, put the password in there. What I like to do is I go to uh, device manager and I just make sure everything's functioning good. And yes, as that's also something else that happens. As you see right there, the little loading dot, it kind of freezes. And um, this happens to me every time I install a card. I think it's just kind of processing all the GPUs there. But that's where I put the 1070 at, um, Ti right there, kind of in the corner. Um, and again, I'm running off of two 850s power supply units and it, they so far they're doing pretty good and all I want to run off this is actually eight I mean sorry seven CPUs I mean sorry seven uh, GPUs so that's that's gonna max out this board right here so that's my first one and then behind me guys this is gonna be the second one right here so I have one uh, PCIe riser and the reason for that is I actually have a 1060 super super clock edition on the way um, those normally make about uh, 310 to 320 souls a solutions a second for Zcash. So it's roughly about, I don't know, $2 a day at this market. Um, but I'll go and throw all that details on another video. So it's still loading. I'll see how long that takes. But here's a market right here. I always like to have this pulled up when I'm in the mining cave. Um, just look at that going up and up and up. I love the way that looks. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna say that took about maybe six minutes. So the next thing I go to is device manager. So this is always the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then I'm gonna go to display adapters. And yes, easy stuff, guys. Look at that, a 1066 gig, a 1066 gig, a 1070, a 1070 Ti, 1090, sorry, 1070, I mean a 970, sorry, it's 970, 970. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So give me a couple seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and configure the new card. Over here. That's not a good layout. Um, give me one second. I'll go ahead and show you how I set up my car. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna tweak the settings a little bit. 
and that normally happens when you try to overclock a new card. Um, it's called a soft crash, so it had a little soft crash. I just restarted the system. Um, so let's see, now the cards are showing up. A little while ago, none of the cards are showing up. So that's pretty good. Moment of truth, we need to see how much we're making. Wow, guys, wow. I wonder which one is the 1070. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say the 531 sold the solutions a second is a 1070. Let's see, where is, yeah, so 531 souls for the same settings I have on the 1070 that is on the 7, 1070 Ti. The normal 1070 is getting 478. So that gives me a total of roughly 2,226 souls for so 1,945. So that brings me up a lot of souls. Um, I'll go ahead and see how much that is over here on Crypto Compare. Hey guys, so I'm back. So this is how much I'm making off my mining rig right now, which is seven cards, which is $449 a month. And that's what the market of, of Zcash, let's go ahead and take a look. The market of Zcash at $472. So it's not too bad. And on this other screen I have pulled up, um, uh, where is it? Yes, yeah, so 531, so I've been running for about 10 minutes now. 531 is at the average of the 1070 Ti, and I'm getting $93 a month. So the card was five, $560, um, took shipping away, and so that's giving me a rate of um, return on investment of a little less than six months. So I'm gonna say five and a half months, which is not bad. Um, and most of my cards already hit the return on investment, so pretty much those cards will be paying the electricity, which is about $90 a month for the seven card rig, because I have my kilowatt attached to the bottom of it. But so far guys, that's what we're looking at today over here in uh, Bitcoin mining world. Uh, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet south, and I'll see y'all next time with some more updates on the second rig. Thank you guys.